So you just uploaded your book to ACX and you need a cover. Avoid this one mistake. Hi, I'm Monique and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification to know when I upload new videos. Today I'm going to show you how to create your ACX covers. The common mistakes most people make is to stretch the existing book cover. But what you want to do is create a book cover just for ACX. If you go to a designer and have it done, make sure you either have them make the ACX cover for you, just in case you need it, or get the source file so you can do it yourself sometime in the future. But if you're like me and you create your own book covers, this is how you would do it for ACX. Today I'll be using Canva to create this cover. Any other time I typically use Photoshop, but I want this to be something that anybody else can do who doesn't have Photoshop or any other fancy photo editing program. So let's go ahead into my account. And the custom dimensions is what you want. The size of the cover is 2400 pixels by 2400 pixels. Now the cover I'm going to create is one I already have. But I'm going to make it over for this tutorial. And you'll notice she is partially blurred for good reasons. And now all I have to do is stretch. See, I can see where it ends right there. So now I'm going to stretch the picture so I can get it the size I want. And you can see how big this cover is. Like I said, a little modesty. It is what it is. And that's basically what my cover looks like. So now I'm going to add my text. So we're going to go over here, close you out, and I'm going to hit my text button, add text box. Ooh, it's teeny weeny. Control A so I can get rid of it all. And the title of this particular book is Seven A F R I C Powers V O R I S H A S Control A. Let's hit text color, make it white. Now I want to increase the size. Uh, Let's start at 48 and go from there. Okay, we want to stretch out this text box. And make it just a wee bit bigger. How does... That's a lot better. The thing where I like about this is I don't have to hit collect, uh, control all to make the letters bigger. It'll do it all by itself. Okay. And let's change the font. For some reason, I like the font bitter. I have no idea why. I just do. Make it a little bigger. 
better. Okay. And there goes the title. Eh, I just do the same thing for the bottom for my name. Better white uh ch -ch 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 try 36 that 36 is not big enough I don't really see that and the 64 a little bigger 88 works for me And of course, make the sucker bold. There we go. And move it down. Okay, now save it, give it a file name. Make it a uh, bad spelling. Make it easy to find when you need, and then just download it. And as you can see, you can do it as a PNG, JPEG, uh, PDF. We don't need, yeah. PNG, I always find that the best, or the TIF files. I think those are the best files. But for this, I will just do the PNG. Download this file. And now I have a file ready to put up to ACX. No fuss, no muss, and Canva is a free program. So I am done. There goes my cover. I can throw this up on ACX for my book and it will get accepted. This looks a whole lot better than having your original cover stretched out. You can see it's actually made for ACX and in their dimensions. Okay, until next time, I'm getting back to my writing.